Well, look, there we go, guys. We've got at least a view of them. So this is some of the sub-adults that are walking past and they're coming slowly but surely towards the road. So mom is right at the back and then the youngsters in the front by the, what I can see. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what it looks like. And they're slowly but surely coming towards the road. If we just sit tight, they should come in front of us and just come out onto the road and get a clear view of them. The thing is with them is we just need to give them a bit of space. They're not animals that like to be kind of hassled by cars and so if we just stand back a little bit then hopefully we'll be able to see them unfortunately it seems as though every time a vehicle moves they then turn the opposite direction but at least they are slowly but surely coming out into the open and hopefully this is going to mean that they're going to settle the interesting thing is that they're going further west so they're heading deeper into Juma to the central parts of Juma and if these guys can just find quarantine I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a situation where we might even see them coming down towards that area so it is super cool I see one is now turning although they're coming back into this general vicinity again so I just want to try and stay where I am here we go two of them are gonna come right out onto the road Vim they're just in front of us now and so they should head right onto the road itself and they're starting to settle now they're getting a little bit more relaxed the more everybody's quietening down and the more everybody stays still no man so unfortunately people are moving around too much which is going to and hopefully not ruin this I was hoping that they're gonna come out right in front of us but everybody keeps moving so much that I don't know if they're going to but anyway Francis from Israel, you say the cat whisperer strikes again. Well, I don't know. I think this is just a lucky one. We've just been super fortunate in that these guys managed to come south. And like I said, with the presence of the Torchwood Pride and the Nkuma Pride in Torchwood and Biffles Hook, it's probably what's pushed them. So they've heard those lions roaring, and that's why they've pushed more towards Juma for the first time. But the good news is if they come into Juma, they walk around, they see prey animals, they see terrain that they potentially like it means that they could come in here more and more and more and we might get a situation where we're going to see these four cheetah a lot more often which is just the most wonderful news it is the best possible thing that we could have it is absolutely insane that we've got cheetah on juma it is ridiculous and not just one but four of them it is amazing so super happy i don't think we could have asked for anything better than this i mean it is absolutely insane to see this many cheetah walking around on juma it's it is the best thing in the world i i love leopards but to have these guys around is something super special so there we go there's one that's about to come out onto the road itself so it's just on the edge of the road and it's kind of looking they're watching a few water buck that ran away just now and i wonder if i can just maybe try vm just to get over this ridge because if i'm over the ridge and they walk on the road then i can just roll with them and i can also get that vegetation out of your way but there we go that's what i was hoping for so you can just get the bit of vegetation that vm had in his way but look at that how cool is this here we go so there is two three and the fourth one should come soon and they're just kind of watching and looking around at the moment they're a bit unsure of all of this and that's all the young ones and i would imagine that they're about a year old i'm not sure how old they are obviously we don't know they've, where they've come from or who they are but they look to be about a year old and so I, at the point now where they're going to be helping mom with hunting and they should be an epic group of cheetah to follow and i Sometimes I wish that we had the ability to follow the cheetah like the guys do in the Mara because I reckon these four must be absolutely amazing to follow now that these ones are getting a little bit bigger. But there all four of them are together. So I hope everybody's enjoying this as much as I am. Naturable, you're asking how will these cheetah deal with all the leopards that are on Juma? This is just ridiculous. How are we seeing this? I don't know. It feels a bit of a pinch me moment, but it's going to be difficult for them. At the end of the day, you know, the likes of Tingana and Vula, they're going to bully Cheetah of this size for sure. Um, even Hosanna and Tamba. Um, it would be interesting. I wonder if Tamba's ever seen a Cheetah. That's an interesting concept. Or Hosanna, because both of them hang out in areas where there's. No, I certainly have never seen a Cheetah. And so I don't think they would have known even what a Cheetah is. And what their reaction to it would be would be quite interesting. But at the end of the day, I would imagine that they're going to have a tough time. Also, there's hyenas here. There's lions. But if they're surviving in places like Biffles Hook and Manuleti and, and Torchwood where there's just as many of all of those kind of things, then 
you know, they're doing just fine. So I, I think we're going to have a situation where hopefully they're going to see the value of being in Juma and they just avoid them. It's the same as in the Mara where the cheetah just have to try and avoid all the other predators. It's the exact same thing. You can see mom is a little kind of watchful. They, they're settling down. They're far better than what they were just now. And then they are starting to kind of relax a little bit. We are keeping our distance at the moment. I mean, we are probably, I would say, 150 meters from them and they are not looking too bad. Yes, it's a mom with cubs. It's not a coalition. So the mom is the one closest to us at the moment and then the three cubs in the front. But they are not cubs anymore. They are grown quite a bit and they're almost the same size as her. It's actually quite difficult to tell who's who. But it looks like mom right at the back and then the three youngsters towards the front. But how cool is this? It's just the most epic thing ever to witness. Just goes to show you never know what's around any of the corners, as we often say. So I'm going to try and cut through and just onto the Buffles Hook cut line because they're heading in that direction. At the end of the day, I think they're going to cross back into Buffles Hook. It doesn't matter though, we got them and we got to see them and that's just the most special part about this whole thing is that we're actually seeing Cheetah on Juma for the first time in I don't even know how long. I'd actually like to know when was the last time a Cheetah was seen on Juma itself and whether or not it was in the last year. I don't think so. Well, in the entire time I've been here there hasn't been a cheetah on Juma and so who knows when the last time they were actually here certainly I haven't seen a female cheetah and cubs in I don't even know how long since the last time I saw female cheetah and cubs and it looks like they might drink there's a water hole here so I wonder if they going to actually have a little drink it looks like they might which will be just so epic if we see cheetah drinking Hopefully the stick that is underneath my car decides to vanquish and go away. But a cheetah drinking would just be the most insane thing to see. So I just want to try and get into some sort of position that we can see it. Let's just go in front of Rexon a little bit. There we go. How beautiful is that, guys? That is as epic and as spectacular as we could ask for. But it looks like they are going to come down and drink. bit muddy a bit of a muddy negotiation to get down how cool is this they definitely are starting to relax a lot more now I think it was just that initial kind of vehicles and then also being in a different place they're not in an area that they know at all as far as we know the first time they've ever set foot in this particular section and so they're just kind of watching around and checking around what's going on and cheetah are a lot more circumspect than something like a leopard or a lion but even if you find lions out of their territory or leopards out of their territory they'll all be a lot more kind of w worried and concerned about an area that they're in but look at that we're going to even get a bit of a reflection of a cheetah drinking how cool is this Roshni, you say she's done very well to raise three cheetah of this age. She has. She's done incredibly well. In, in considering we're in a predator-rich environment, so we're in a place where there is a lot of other predators around, it is really not easy at all to raise cheetah in these particular sections. And so she's done incredibly well, and, and she's managed to keep them out of the way of hyenas and lions and leopard and all the other nasties that we get out of in this section and so she is must be a very good mother and hopefully it like i said it will mean that we're going to see a lot more of these guys over the next little bit it would be nice if we did that's for sure it seems as though they're going to turn and go further south again which is actually not the worst news if they head in that direction at the end of the day at least they're heading deeper into juma itself but how cool is this? I mean, we couldn't ask for a better sighting of cheetah. Three che or four cheetah out in the open, having a little drink like they were just now is as good as one could ever wish for. So cool. That is just the best thing ever. Absolutely epic. So this is just the coolest thing. I just want to get back towards the road again. I think they're going to cross north, but that was just, I mean, we couldn't have asked for anything better than what we just got now. They were sitting out in the open like that, a quick little drink that is as good as anybody could ever wish for in a cheetah sighting, whether it's Mara, Sabi Sands, anywhere, but here in the Sabi Sands, that is just absolutely insane so we are so fortunate to have seen what we've just seen right now is probably one of the 
highlights that I've had in my time here at Safari Live. I know I've seen some amazing stuff, but that right there is just absolutely insane. So I just didn't think we'd ever see a situation where we'd have four cheetah walking around on Juma and having a kind of drink off of a mud wallow and taking some time to actually spend in this area so it's just one of those weird kind of situations something that I really didn't expect at all the problem is I've got a stick under my car so I'm not even going incognito at the moment I'm unfortunately making a lot of noise as we're walking along but they seem to be getting a little bit better they seem to be chilling out quite a bit and relaxing and, and uh, they're no longer sort of trotting away from us they seem to kind of be figuring out that we're not really an issue and they can walk along this fire break section and i'm just going to stay here because i don't want to cut their path off and, and they are going to cross north fairly shortly it's unfortunately the way it goes they they're going to move out of our area again but at least it's been a foray into our section it's kind of they've checked it out they've seen it they James, you say you can't believe we finally get to meet the family. It's been on your wish list for a while. James, I think you and a lot of other people will, including me. I, I've wanted to see these cheetah as well, and we've come tantalizingly close a few times. You know, we've ended up in a situation where we've kind of heard of them on our fringes. We had those tracks that came towards Biffles Dam, Biffles Hook Dam that one time before. And so, you know, we've had a situation where we've really come close a few times, but we've never just quite managed it. And to have them here now and, and to know that they're in our area is just absolutely insane. So we're super fortunate, we're super lucky, and and it's, it's one of those moments where it was just right time at the right place. If it wasn't for being here right now, we probably wouldn't have gotten to see them. We would have had a situation where they might have, you know, come in and gone out. And, and if nobody had kind of been this section while they were coming over the road, then we might not have seen them. So they are going to cross or just walk along the road, I think. Unfortunately, they're going to probably not cross just yet, but they see mom in front and then the youngsters walking behind. And this is a shot that I didn't think we would see on Juma is four cheetah on the road itself. And I always love when cheetah cross the road. They kind of move their head to the side and watch you. And look at that. Very, very, very special to see that. We are so lucky right now. We are incredibly lucky. There's still one more to come over. There we go. So the last one is just on the mound itself and is about to probably come over and all our more you say they look so tall and elegant they do unfortunately yes yeah, somebody drove a bit close to them and as you can see they are not quite as relaxed as some of the other individuals that we see out here particularly things like the leopards and the lions and so that's unfortunately it with our cheetah they are going to cross north and out of our area so 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 good. 